you have a population that if it does get into a younger population, as it did in the Sun Belt initially, eventually, if you have a lot of community spread, it's going to get into those more vulnerable populations. And the third um, basis for the argument that we should sort of let, let everyone get the herd immunity is a presumption that a lot of people all already have innate immunity against coronavirus. And this is based on a view that when you look at people, people's T cells, about 50% of people, upwards of 50% of people, have what we call reactive T cells against COVID. It means that they have prior infection with coronavirus, and th those prior infections with other coronaviruses, seasonal coronaviruses, have left them with T cells that cross react in petri dishes against the COVID virus. We know nothing about whether or not those T cells are protected. There's no evidence really to suggest that they are, but people are using that laboratory finding to make a conclusion that there's a vast army of people out there who already have immunity against coronavirus, and therefore if we just infect an incremental 10 or 20 percent, we'll reach herd immunity. I think that's a very dangerous proposition because we don't have enough information to base that kind of conclusion on.